Welcome to 10 Math Minutes, where we learn an effective math strategy in 10 minutes or less to grow your mind and your teaching. I'm Naomi Church with Growing Minds Consulting, and today we're going to be discussing one of my favorite math strategies, Steve Wyborny's SPLAT. So SPLAT is a highly interactive number sense strategy that can be used at all grade levels. We can look at this from kindergarten all the way through high school, and it lends itself to face-to-face -to -face as well as virtual instruction. So why SPLAT? Well, it's really an introduction to algebraic thinking. It increases number sense and it encourages mathematical discourse. So let's dig deeper into that why. The first reason was algebraic thinking. How can we expect students to be ready for algebra in the secondary grades when we haven't ever introduced it before that? The National Research Council concluded in a report on teaching mathematics that the student of algebra need not begin with a formal course in the subject. From the earliest grades of elementary school, students can be acquiring the rudiments of algebra. So we can start with our students early on to get them thinking algebraically. This strategy also increases number sense and when we build a child's number sense it promotes thinking instead of just computing. So the characteristics of good number sense include fluency in estimating and judging magnitude, the ability to recognize unreasonable results, flexibility when mentally computing, and the ability to move among different representations and to use the most appropriate representation. And when I model the strategy in just a moment here, you'll see how all of these fit together. John Van de Waal said, number sense is never complete. It is a lifelong process that is promoted through many and varied experiences in using and applying numbers. And that's what we strive to do with SPLAT. And finally, mathematical discourse. Ben Franklin said, tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I learn. We involve students by getting them talking and processing the information. This discussion helps students to articulate their thinking and even question the thinking of others. Okay, now that you know why, let's take a look at the strategy. So this is from Steve Wyborny's Splat Lesson 1.5. So we start out by asking students, how many shapes do you see? So in this case, they're blue. How many blue shapes do you see? Now, the way students respond can look differently depending on if we're doing this live, synchronously, or asynchronously, right? So face-to-face, -face, students may respond a little bit differently. You can do this live with students by having them respond in the chat, by having them unmute their microphones and tell you, or by writing the number down on a whiteboard and holding it up for the camera. This can also be something that works as a discussion post in a learning management system like Canvas. So, of course, here there are 10. So we're going to confirm with the students that there are 10. The next thing we do is put the splat down. So splat. Now we ask, how many shapes are under the splat and how do you know? So now students are thinking about, well, let's see, I knew that there were 10. There's two on the outside and they're trying to figure out how many are left. I love this strategy because it's super visual. The splat algebraically serves as X, of course, but we can begin introducing this type of thinking and reasoning as early as kindergarten with numbers up to five. So then after students share out, then we're also gonna say, how else could you know? And we're gonna elicit further student thinking. Perhaps now we call on somebody else to articulate their thinking because maybe a different student saw it differently. And then we invite students to look under the splat. So let's look under the splat to see how many shapes there are. 
and then the splat grays out so we can see through it and think further. So this is an authentic and engaging way to work with facts and computation, as well as variables and even the commutative property of addition. So let's look under the splat to see how many there are. And so when students are sharing their thinking, you may get something like, well, there were 10 total and I knew I could see the two on the outside, so I subtracted the two, so there must be eight underneath the splat because 10 minus two equals eight. Maybe they go, oh, well, I know my facts and I certainly know my tens. So even though this is empty, two plus, I don't know how many equals 10. Now I could also call this X, but it could be a blank box, it could be a question mark. It's the same concept here. And students who know their tens, who, who know their, um, their facts, will know that there's an eight missing, right? So you'll get two plus eight equals 10. And this is even where we can pull in the commutative property, because you have some students who will know that eight plus two also equals 10, and it broadens the discussion. So we can do addition, we can do subtraction. We're looking at the variable there and maybe even introducing students to that terminology of X. And then we ask students, what can we learn from this picture? And we want them to be the ones to really put this together, right? We want them to recognize how addition and subtraction tie together these reciprocal operations. We want them to notice the commutative property that what's inside the splat versus what's outside the splat, I can switch those around and I still have the total of 10. We can teach them, like I said, all about variables. We start with a question mark or a blank box and build up into X or N so that they're seeing this from early on. So to learn more, you can go to Steve Wyborny's blog. I'm on a learning mission. The website is right here. And you'll also find the website um, for my blog post in the description below. And that will have the direct links to Steve Wyborny's post, as well as some articles that give you more information. So another important point is that I would really encourage you to frame this as a game for your students. I tell my students that we're playing this black game and the verbiage of playing a game really increases interest and engagement among students of all ages almost instantly because games are fun. And when we make math about games, they're learning these critical skills built into these strategies without even realizing it. So again, my name is Naomi Church and I'm with Growing Minds Consulting. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.